And tonight here at CBS2, we mourn a New York legend and a familiar face to our viewers, Pablo Guzman. He died over the weekend after decades of covering the city he loved so much. CBS2's Dick Brennan looks back on his life. I love reporting in New York. This job never ceases to amaze me. Pablo Guzman was proud of the work he did covering the greatest city in the world. In the early 90s, Nelson Mandela was finally let out of prison, and he came here to speak to the UN, and I got to go to the press conference. When it was over, one of the African diplomats wanted to talk to me. My ego was jumping, and all the other reporters thought I had the inside track. So I went over to him, looked him right in the eye, and he wanted to ask me about John Gotti. I said, you know, that's what it's all about. Indeed, whether it was John or Junior Gotti, he lives better than many his age live. So it raises questions, you know, how does he do it? Or just chasing down so many scoundrels in the naked city. The real problem is that the person next to you online or jamming the phone line is probably working for a scalper. Pablo Guzman was there. Well, because he always had been. Everybody here go out and you go out proud no matter what happens. But this church is ours. This is a people's church. After attending Bronx Science and SUNY Old Westbury, Pablo was one of the founding members of the Young Lords. People say I'm tough, but I had to be. You see, in the 1970s, I ran these streets with the Young Lords Party. Pablo Yoruba Guzman was the Minister of Information. Geraldo Rivera was an attorney for the Young Lords, a group way ahead of its time. Pablo gave voice to the people of Spanish Harlem and the South Bronx in a way they had not been recognized before. They made an identity of the Puerto Rican people for the Puerto Rican people. They were, we were in New York, we were here and there, hundreds of thousands, but kind of invisible. Pablo then. would then take to television, working through the years at Channels 5, 4, and here at CBS 2. He definitely was the voice of generation, voice of a community, and he was always fighting to tell those stories. Pablo was a unique combination of street smart and book smart. I don't think any reporter in New York history had the street cred that Pablo possessed. And it wasn't all the grim and the grimy. He loved covering the Yankees and their parades. What about school? People talked to Pablo, and it sure was true. He had a knack for bringing out um, the best in people, and, and people really trusted him. But the tough guy reporter also had another side. Very warm person, like I always said, with a big heart. And Pablo Guzman was a storyteller at heart, but as New York as it gets. He was king of the hill, and just so, such a soft, mushy heart inside once you got to know him. Uh, and it's just so funny and loving. Pablo was uh, so original and um, is really going to be missed. Really going to be missed. Pablo Guzman was 73. He survived by his wife, Debbie, and two children, Angela and Daniel, and his mother, Sally. Mayor Adams tweeted that Pablo Guzman was a son of the Bronx who spoke truth to power and held leaders to account. Our city is a better place for the work he did, and he will be truly missed. Rest in peace. Our he, deepest condolences to his family, too. Absolutely. Um, and then those words, he held truth to power. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a guy who started on the streets and he told the story of the streets better than anyone else could. Yeah, the conscience of the newsroom, the conscience of the city in many ways, right? What I'll miss the most is the one-to-one -one conversations. Miss him so much over the years. I got to visit him at home yeah. a few years back and he still had that wonder and that awe that's a in great, his voice, that's right? A, he, just, he just looked at the world with wonder and, and he wanted to tell the story, tell it for the common person and do that with humanity. And that was what he was all about. And he did it for an entire people. You heard what Geraldo was mm -hmm. saying about Spanish Harlem, the voice to the voiceless. This was way before he even got on the news he was doing this. He right. started young, went all the way to the end doing brilliant things. Truly, going to miss him. Yep. Already do. Yep. Thank do. you, Dick. Beautifully done. And we're going to take a break here. Pablo Guzman, our condolences to your family. We'll be right back.